I did the right thing and waited for a little bit because uh, there was some shit that went down with Capcom because they released some of the gameplay footage uh, of the recent new revealed characters for Street Fighter 6. But some of those videos actually came from the pay per view, and uh, a lot of these um, <laughs> streamers, content creators were getting strikes uh, for the footage that came actually from the pay per view. So. Uh, your boy did the right thing and waited a goddamn minute until they officially released the gameplay. And they actually did. So what we're going to do for this vid, we're just going to watch through all three matches and just give uh, my take in regards of what we're witnessing with some of the <laughs> new characters that got revealed for Street Fighter 6. And uh, see which of these new four <laughs> will gravitate to your boy for the notes. <laughs> So let's check it out. Come on, no sweat. All right, so first off, we're gonna check out Marissa versus Manon, the two most anticipated newcomers. Sorry for my big head is in the way. There's the pulling in set play for Manon right there. That's definitely gonna be scary. <laughs> Marissa said, get that shit off me right here. That dish for damn speckful sweep. That's gonna be nutty. And if you're gonna dry brush into that, wow, Marissa just pounds and did the Eileen. <laughs> As he tells you not to touch it with that disrespectful push in the end right there, but hold up, hold up, let's rewind that for a bit. <laughs> First off, let's rewind to the sweep real quick. <laughs> I can tell you, Manon's definitely gonna have some reach, especially with the legs and stuff like that, so. My part exactly with that sleep right there. Imagine dry brushing with that shit right there. That's gonna be uh, annoying as hell and very potent right there. As you saw that Eileen punch right there. And Marissa telling you not to touch it. I know her style is gonna have a lot of armor and a lot of counters and parries in regards to that. So that's gonna be something right there. Perfect parry. She's that nice way. And as you know right here, this is uh, Manon's uh, meter right here, as far as metal meters. So the more uh, command throws she does, uh, the more uh, damage uh, she will take. Uh, and the maximum will go is five right here. As you see right here, she gains another one as she did another one of her throws right there. And the animations definitely do change as we're... Looks to be a level two right there. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. And also, fuck you to my gnome for not pointing your toes up when you're twirling. <laughs> now, that was an EXO right there. And the fact that she just commands you and just slams you as such a... Now, hold up, hold up. Let me rewind real quick, because let me show you something right here. As I move my cam down a little forward right here, so you can see the damage that uh, she just did with these crazy throws, so... Like I said, her damage be increasing once the metals be increasing. You just saw that shit, right? She's like, it'll take more than that. <laughs> there goes half your life. Half your life. And here's some unique combos right here, as you're seeing right there. And Marissa's like, I am so sick of your sh jump scare. She said, kiss the jewelry, bitch. It just uh, flew you into the wall like it's Mortal Kombat. There's the Eileen punch again. I'm gonna start calling that shit that. Now, is that a parry? Hold on, hold on.
Doesn't look like a parry. It looks more like a command grab and it just uh, punches your ass to sleep. Once again, Marissa saying, do not touch it. Or Marisa. Now she's gonna take you to the back and uh, <laughs> give you all this type of snoop snoop because I don't know, these two might be onto a bit of something right here, but <laughs> more on that to the actual story. <laughs> but yeah, I feel Marissa's gonna be the fan favorite out of everybody that's gonna be revealed. <laughs> I think uh, people are kind of tired of Kimberly at the point right now, so they wanna finally move on to the next new big toy, and that's definitely gonna be Marissa, so. We know she's gonna hurt like a tank, and with her armor, that's gonna definitely go to a lot of her opponent's attacks and everything. She's gonna be a massive tank, as she should be. But Manon, on the other hand, <laughs> I definitely feel she's gonna be, excuse me, gonna be a lot hated because of those uh, vortex resets and <laughs> the way she can just uh, command grabs everything because. Uh, when you do uh, drive impacts, drive rushes, or anything with the drive sum, um, they can easily be grabbed. Because remember, grabs beat drive impacts. And she, uh, as a Chujoka, she can definitely do that shit with ease. So uh, it's going to be interesting how she's going to incorporate uh, her uh, metal install game and toss with her ballerina and flexibilities. So I'm definitely a hype for the two. So can't wait to try them myself whenever the game comes out. So. Uh, Next, let's check out um, DJ and Dalsim. Now, I'm gonna mention what Rizzy already pulled out. The bulge between both DJ and Dalsim in particular, as Dalsim bitch slaps you. It's nutty. It's definitely nutty right there. And of course, DJ's DJ as hell. And it's kind of ridiculous he could double slash without uh, doing the EX, and the EX is uh, obviously <laughs> the Sonic Ring. <laughs> Tim with the anti airs, the floating <laughs> meditation. Oh my god, doing them sways with the drive impacts, it's gonna be. D drive right, excuse me. It's gonna be nuts for TJ. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is the stage theme or. Nah, this can't be DJ's actual thing. This is the stage theme. Wall crush. Maximum up. up. And the fact that you can cancel that and you, you can just dash forward into this without relying on drive rushes a bit, that's gonna make DJ a bit of a problem. Come on! Did you say Magneton? <laughs> He said the knee, Katsu. He said the knee, Taku. Stick a foot up in his beard and such. Now, that's his level one. Man. I just witnessed right there. And as you saw right there, the fact it uses as a crumple and you could just extend combos uh, into the next thing a la Kim. Ball splat. It just sway into some combos as such. They do a whole lot of damage, but it's definitely unique to get some attacks in. This burnout pose is funny though. I'm not gonna front. <laughs> it's like fuck it, spin the meter. And the fact that again you could do the shit twice without using EX or <laughs> drive. Or dry gauges is crazy. Overdrive, excuse me. It's crazy. <laughs> this Japanese voice is hilarious because this is the Japanese voice acting. Drop rush 
fours. That no, that sway. That crazy sway. And the feints right there. <laughs> DJ's gonna pressure the fuck out of you in this game. I know he's been weak tier and the longest for the past games. Drive impact by the sit. If he can drive impact into teleport into some combos, Sim is gonna be nasty. And there's the one piece. <laughs> Multi's all right. Can't wait for the critical card right there. And there's the sim bullshit we all love to hate the most. <laughs> he said, "Come on." That was an overhead. Can we see other than? DJ is gonna be a big problem. <laughs> like I said, they make this motherfucker a problem for sure. It, it's gonna be nutty. Sim's already gonna be much of a problem anyway, cause of <laughs> his uh, long range and mix ups uh, with the pressure right there. So fighting Sim's always gonna be annoying no matter what iteration it is, but um, yeah, they definitely made DJ a hell of a lot valuable, so I cannot wait to get my hands on him to see what I'm able to do, and I hope to god he's not a charged character again, because uh, that would be mad unfortunate. But anyway, speaking of charged characters, let's check out little Jimmy with his jorts and dim Jimmy dolls. And JP, to conclude this, First up, JP, how is your back that strong with your pose right there? I already know JP is going to be a sit play monster, so he's going to require some time in the master. Block, I got the little reach. And with JP, he could summon his little de psycho demon right there and uh, extend some combos into this such. Yeah, we could do some keep away combos on top of that. And EX will call it a wall pounce and just continue to throw combos at that. Alright. I'll go with the far throw. Drive. Oh god, drive rush with Blanco. <laughs> They got a little bit of reaches with the crouch attacks. Mm. Oh god, the rolling balls. The roll. The fuck? Uh -oh, rewind that. Rewind that right quick. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Okay, I see what it is. It's one of those parries where it's uh, kind of like Safina's in Tekken 7, where ready to unleash the demons and all of a sudden just let them go, like here. That's hot, JP. What the fuck is up with your nose? And I think... I'm gonna say that's a level 2. And depending on the placement of uh, the uh, demons right there, they just come out of nowhere and does a little bit of a vortex attack. Damn, Blanca all shorted up. <laughs> wow. JP 4 for his ass right there. Ooh. Now that's a long frame overhead, and here comes the Blanca Chan. Which is activated by doing the electricity. Uh, Fighting Blanc is going to be a problem once more. I want to say that's a... Uh... Yeah, that's V-Trigger all over again. Oh boy. Mm -mm. Munch, munch, munch. Munch the KFC. Blanca pressure. Something I never want to tolerate with this brolic fuck. Oh, 
Oh yeah, JP's definitely gonna be a set play mid-range to a Sonar type of style. His Excuse me, you definitely gotta get in on this motherfucker in order to get his stuff in. <laughs> Blanco with the goofiness right there. And there's Blanco's mom cheering him on in the background right there, as you see on the left. <laughs> yeah, definitely rooting for <laughs> her son uh, to get the victory against uh, this uh, psycho monster right there. That was gnarly. At the same time, you can still parry projectile, so it's not a bit of a surprise. And <laughs> notice the Blanca costume in the back <laughs> behind Blanca's mom right there. <laughs> oh my god, the details of some of these stages bring back the classic stages from the past Street Fighters. It's phenomenal right here. Just let poke him with the damn pole. <laughs> with the damn cane. Uh oh. Uh, this is level 3, this ain't uh, critical art. Uh, Blanca's just happy to be here. Blanca is definitely just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm not happy he's in because I don't like fighting this motherfucker, but, um, hey. You cannot erase uh, the charisma that he has right there, so... <laughs> but yeah, that's all the developer matches that we got for Street Fighter VI right here. Um, uh, so far, I'm digging what uh, all of the newcomers have uh, definitely are bringing so far. <laughs> definitely uh, more hype for Marissa and Manon, obviously. I cannot wait to toy with those uh, two the most. And a little bit of DJ, because I want to see how his new uh, feints and sway is gonna <laughs> mix up uh, and see if they can make him more of a reliable character than past games because, again, DJ was a bit duty in previous titles, so... <laughs> JP set play was definitely unique and Blanca and Sim is obviously Blanca and Sim, so it's definitely gonna be unique, so... um, Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you feel about uh, these uh, developer uh, matches right here. And again, if you wanna see more content from Street Fighter VI from your boy, you know the tro. <laughs> like, share, comment, ring the bell, and do Julia Chang, and don't forget to subscribe! So yeah, it's your boy Pink Ninja, and I'm out of this love. Hopefully you guys have a good one, and I will definitely have a good one once Street Fighter 6 comes out, so... Outs of this love. <laughs>